Good morning, everyone. This devotion is entitled, God is our protector, and it is based on Isaiah 54, 17. Isaiah 54, 17 states, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. In the world that we live in, there are several things that we need to be protected from. Some of these things would include harm, danger, accidents, ill health, and incidences that could be detrimental to our welfare or well-being. Additionally, we need to be protected and guarded from the various devices and attacks that the enemy would want to throw our way. However, amidst it all, we are well aware that we serve a God who is well able to protect us. He is also known as El Elohim, my protector, meaning the Lord is my strong protector. It also means our eternal creator, according to Genesis 1.1. To that end, we can safely conclude that our eternal creator is our strong protector and we can undoubtedly trust him. What are you currently facing? I would like to take the opportunity to assure and encourage you that whether it is something that might be deemed as great or small, God can protect you from it all. I must add that even though there are certain situations and circumstances that we are allowed to experience. It should never negate the fact that God can take us safely through. As we review the scripture basis for this devotion taken from Isaiah 54, 17, it does not claim that weapons will not form, but it surely assures us that these weapons will not prosper. Be reminded that if God is for us, no one can be against us. Romans 8.31 These are opportunities where we can place our faith in God to cause us to be victorious. At the time, we do not like the process or the situation, but when we reflect, we can truly say that God was a faithful protector. Be encouraged today that no matter what, you can rely on him. I would often hear my granny say, with Jesus in the ship, you can smell at the storm. Remember when the disciples were all frantic in the boat with the storm in Matthew 14? Or when Daniel was in the lion's den in Daniel 6? Or even when Joseph was thrown into the pit in Genesis 37? In each of these stories, the individual experienced the weapon form, but it did not prosper. God showed up and they were all victorious, untouched, and safe. In like manner, God is reminding you today that as long as you genuinely trust Him and commit all of your cares upon Him, He will bring you through safely. Believe God to protect you from mental and physical torture, torment, and turmoil. For He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. May God bless you and protect you. Have a pleasant day.